everyone and welcome to Distance Learning at Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today we're going to be inspired by shape and secondary colors. You need five random objects for around your house. I have a fork, scissors, sunglasses, um, an apple core, and a circle shape. Um, you can pick whatever you would like. Um, we, you need a white piece of paper, a pencil, and you're going to need a orange, green, and purple crayon marker colored pencil, whichever one you would like. Also, I would suggest using a Sharpie marker. So I'm gonna get myself set up and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I am here. I have my scissors, my sunglasses, my circle shape, my apple core, and a fork. I might get rid of one of these. I'm actually gonna get rid of that circle because I don't think I'll have enough space on my paper. Okay, what you're gonna do first is set up on your paper a design of all of the things. You're gonna take your pencil and you're going to trace around them. Take that away now. I'm gonna take my sunglasses. I'm actually just gonna do it this way because that way I'll be able to. Now I'm gonna, whoop. They move a lot. I'm gonna fix that up a little bit. Now, wherever my sunglasses overlap, I'm gonna fix this just a little bit, overlap my scissors, I'm going to erase. So that's right here and right there. And same thing for on the scissors too. We wanna make sure that they are making one large object. See? Okay, now I'm gonna take my sunglasses and put them there. I'm gonna take my apple. Okay, I'm just gonna do the outside of it. And now I'm actually gonna change my mind. I'm going to put my fork, I'm actually gonna just go like this. And then I'm gonna add the four prongs in. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Same thing as we did with the um, want to make sure that it just becomes one big object. So we're actually going to erase all of that in there. So you won't, well, yeah, you won't even have to worry about this. Okay, so now you'll just see the spokes of the fork coming out of the apple at the bottom of my fork on the other side. Okay, um, I'm gonna give this some circles here. Okay, that looks good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sharpie marker, one that hopefully works, and I'm gonna go over all of my lines. So 
now I have finished going over all of the uh, images that we have used. I'm going to take a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, that's okay. You can use a edge of a paper, whatever works for you. I happen to have a ruler. And you're going to make random lines. I'm just going to use my marker. One. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pattern. See how I've made three strips? So I'm gonna take my orange, green, and, and my purple, purple, sorry about that, and purple markers. I'm gonna start on the top. I'm gonna get another piece of paper so I can show you. So, what I'm gonna do now is cut this like that with the second with the first piece of paper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with orange. Just coloring in that square. Okay. Now I'm gonna use green to color in just the handle of my scissors. And I'm going to choose to do purple in the background. And again, if you go off the page, that's okay. Look, makes it so that you can go Next door, I'm gonna do the opposite. So purple was here, I'm gonna put the purple inside of the scissors. And I'm gonna take my green, coloring that itty bitty bit of background and this next part. Next up, I'm gonna do this one in orange. See now how I've done the background in a pattern. Orange, purple, background, green background, orange background. So that means that the next one has to be purple. Okay, now I'm gonna take this. This is where it gets kind of complicated. We're gonna do this one in purple. And remember, the stuff with a purple background is green on the image itself. So this will have green on part of the sunglasses and part of the scissors. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose to make this one with the green background and this one with the orange background. So here we go. 
green background. here but I'm going to do the orange as the inside of the sunglasses now that means that the inside of this is gonna be orange and I'm gonna make the things green on the inside oop I forgot to do that one this one's gonna be purple so you can choose to do So I actually made a mistake, but that's okay. So I'm gonna make this one purple now. Fine. Okay, now this one is gonna be orange in here. orange in here. Perfect. And I'm going to make that background purple. Now, I'm going to do this one green because this one is orange and this one is purple. Going in there. See how the colors never touch one another. So if you have purple, your purple should not touch any other purple parts. So this is purple, but this is green and this one's orange, so it's not touching. That. Look, I'm already halfway done. Now this takes a little bit of time to think about, but you can do it, I'm sure. I'm gonna make this one orange down here. And I'm gonna make this part orange here and this part, yep orange here. So that means that my background has to be purple. Oop. Well, I guess not because that's purple, but that's okay. And if you mess up, that's okay. It's just supposed to be something fun to do. gonna make this one orange as well making that one green okay. 
Now I'm going to make this part of my apple green. Nope. I'm going to make this part of my background green and my apple purple. See how I'm really thinking about what I'm doing? Making sure that I'm not going to mess up. That's what this is all about. Thinking and taking your time. Making sure to not mess up. Marker's kind of dying. Okay. Next up, this is going to be orange and this will be green. I forgot a little green section. Remember, this is still the same piece, so this will be automatically green. Now, I'm gonna make this part purple, this part orange. Part two has to be orange. Now, because this part is orange, I'm going to do this part orange and make the inside of it green. And that is how you make an ab... There goes my fork. An abstract shape and secondary colored inspired piece. I am so excited about this one. I might hang it on my refrigerator. I hope you had a good time. Remember, send me your work at htemple at schools.nyc.gov. I can't wait to see what you've done. Hope you had a good time.